Hey, hey, hey. Hello, internet. internet. Back in our room. Sonil. Back in our room. Here we are. We Once just again, got out of the woods. Falling yeah, into pieces. Checking some stuff. Queen's here with us. You know, like he does. <laughs> just got out of the woods. Uh, watched a guy burn to death. Yep. yep. Solved part of a puzzle. It's been a fun day. Yeah, it's been a, it's been an adventure filled day. That is actually a bigger hole now. Hey. Yeah, it's eating it is. into the mirror. Maybe a little. Yeah, it is. Eh, everything else looks pretty good, though, so no worries there. Yeah, no, totally, totally not the worst place yeah. to live. No, ever. no, we're fine. I mean, otherwise, the apartment's pretty cozy. It's okay. I wouldn't call it cozy. <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of, uh, <laughs> it's kind of old folks homey. Uh, you take what you can get. He's a photographer in the city. I'm sure he didn't yeah, have like really a lot well. of options. And then I realized yeah, I can't still even have... take pictures of Spider Man. I still have the placard in my inventory. <laughs> my inventory is limited, so we're going to drop that off. Yeah. And I don't really need this med kit either. Also, can you not like. Sound yeah. Hill! I need pictures of Spider Man. <laughs> you should probably load some of those bullets into your gun because those I are know. Just extra inventory space. I will. It's not like I've been collecting a lot anyway. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty good about not giving you a lot of consumables, unlike some other games I can mention <laughs> that are also called Silent Hill. <laughs> well, Silent all that Silent Hill Origins, you can just pick up what the fuck ever, carry twenty TVs around. Yeah. <laughs> well, also, also Homecoming is egregious about that fact too. Like, do you want bullets? Have more bullets. <sighs> Ooh, here, a new wait, place. Out of bullets? So bullets. here is the level that I didn't want to play because it generally, genuinely freaks my shit out. So I like how his fingernails Excellent. are just like... What is up with his fingernails? Uh, he's a little poly model. <laughs> he's a bachelor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that too. Well, they're like the same color as his skin. Welcome to the water prison. Ooh, Ooh. Hello. <laughs> That's a good name for something. It Fuck. looks like showers. <laughs> oh, I like this already. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure you do. I'm okay with yeah. this. I'm super okay. You wouldn't be with okay this. playing it. I'm sure I would not, which is why it's awesome. I would say the first time that I ever played this game, uh, this was definitely the level where me and Nate had to had to pass off the controller the most. <laughs> Can't do it, your turn. <laughs> Turns out that the building is an even bigger cell. Death hmm. chamber. Excellent. Death God, such chamber. I wonder what happens in there. Oh, I don't know. Why don't we check it out? Not gonna lie, death chamber sounds like an eighties band. <laughs> yeah, it does. That's great. Uh... Also, I'm gonna be referencing the map a lot in this. Mm. Kill me. Walter's gonna kill me. He, he's gonna kill me. Who is that? The guy in the cell? Yeah. 18th he's new, victim. He's a new guy. He's a new guy. He, ca he kind of looks like um, Frank Sunderland is the only reason I asked. Just because he's old? Do all old people look alike to you? <laughs> God damn it, man. <laughs> no, he's a low poly yeah, model. Yeah. Fuck him. <laughs> Well, good luck with that guy. The door's locked, so can't do anything about that now. Well, we've got a name for our antagonist. Walter. Yeah, well, it's the it's a serial killer. The case mm -hmm. from ten years ago. I can't remember his surname now. Oh man, old Silent Hill trope. Oh, okay. Those are footsteps. 
and a light. Yes, they are. So we have a noose. Mm. We have a um, a single aperture. We have a note. We're being watched. And someone was tired of it. Or was he sick of it? I mean, we are currently being watched. <sighs> hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there's somebody in the middle who's wandering at like a weird panopticon. Yes. Yeah. It's like the um the in inward facing circle prisons. It's awesome. Yeah, I thought that was what uh, I thought that was the panopticon. Yeah, 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 yeah. What the hell are these things? Was... They're like weird sentient mushrooms. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> well, I think they'd be more savory. <laughs> how many, uh, how many cells um, do we have? More than you think, but less. Than looks you like know. looks like One, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many floors? You'll you'll find out. Because <laughs> I'm imagining that. Each victim spent time here. We're good. Bullets. <sighs> no, I'm just going to tell you right now. No. This prison mm. was used for something else. Oh. Interesting. <sighs> Super happy mm. fun. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, we're back to this guy. Hey, later. <laughs> Say something hey, you new. You could loan him your gun or something. Nah. Now we need yeah. I don't know. We're doing pretty good without it. I'm gonna. I Ooh, imagine things. I. I was gonna say I imagine that would be a point for which we need it. Are they supposed to be like mice, or are they supposed to be like weird, like amoebas? They're like slugs. Yes! I love me some insect-based horror. Are slugs insects? I mean, that's not entirely... Yeah, slugs are insects. They don't have six about. legs. Well, okay, bugs. Fine. <laughs> they are... They are worms. Like, whatever. It's still insects. It's a note. Slugs are not notes, Manda. That doesn't make Shut any up, sense. read the note. Corpse disposal shoes. Yeah! Oh man. The corpse yeah. disposal shoes. Also, oh jeez. That's so the kids wouldn't discover them. Fuck. Cool. Also, apparently slugs are mollusks. Uh, oh, that makes sense. Also, the lights only work on the third floor. Good. This I is love, a great place. Yeah, I, I, I love maintenance notes in horror games. <laughs> They are always the best. Remember not to turn on the lights in the one in in the in the first, second, fifth, eighth, and tenth rooms while also turning on the lights in the central hallway. <laughs> yep, those aren't doors. Yeah, I try to look at these pillars. Like, nope. are they something? They look nope, really oddly like doors, but they do. Not. But no, these are doors. It's locked. Cool. Still really liking the theme of, like, every place in this game being a super, like, super closed, super tight space. You remember my friends from the subway? Yeah. Oh, the wall monsters? Yeah, ghosts. At least at this time, we're not oh, constantly okay. moving towards them on a treadmill. Yeah, I can, I can hit them on my yeah. own terms. Yeah, you don't need to waste all your ammo. I am Groot. <laughs> Groot me! Groot him so hard. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Groot him. Groot him right, right in the face. Groot him right in the Groot, Groot sack. Groot him harder. <laughs> Groot him better. Groot, Groot him more. Too. Groot harder. <laughs> Hate him. Hate him. Hate this corridor. Hate that it's so tight. Hate that it spirals downwards. 
downwards. Never downwards. Never. That's downwards. actually from this game. Mm-hmm. It's one of the few things I actually know from this game. <laughs> Hate the soundtrack that's playing. No, I don't. don't. I love it, actually. I love everything about this. But also, I hate mm -hmm. experiencing it. <laughs> well, at least you're not experiencing it yourself. <laughs> you're doing it vicariously through yourself. At least I'm not time. in first-person mode. <laughs> at least you're not. Also, this, I'm reminded oddly, I, I can't... Apparently one of the original purposes for spiral staircases was that animals couldn't walk up them. I think specifically it was either cows or horses. Because they can't walk down staircases, yeah? Yeah, it's so cute. Um, yeah, cows, cows don't know how to go on stairs. Okay, so since we're going to be dealing with this corridor for a little but, while, apparently. Oh, um, you've got time to explain it. Go, go for it. Silent Hill. Um... So in the first Silent Hill game, you start out, you play uh, Harry Mason, and you are, uh, oh, fuck, I forget. This is the problem, is like, I have Shattered Memories slash the movies as, like, a, a, a differing instance of how the actual well, plot Well, honestly, goes, basically... the movie is not that far off, except having nothing to do with Harry. <laughs> right. Um, but basically, like, there, there's a car crash, and you lose your daughter, and you spend the, the game looking for your daughter, um, whose name is, um, God, what's her name? Alessa. Heather's, yeah. Alessa, right, duh. Um, and, uh, so basically there is this cult in Silent Hill that is trying to summon a thing. Oh, you mean, you mean, her uh, name is Cheryl, technically. She Cheryl, was adopted. Yes, yes. Her, her original name yes. was Alessa. Harry calls her Cheryl. Right. Um, yeah, why don't you tell me? <laughs> but the thing is, like, I have such a halting knowledge of it that I, I can't put together a proper narrative, because um, I have to, like, stop and think, wait, no, that's the movie, that's the... Because I know that they, they use... Like, Cheryl was the daughter Dahlia. of uh, Well, no, Dahlia, I don't think she was actually who's... the daughter of Dahlia in the games. I think she, Dahlia was just the, uh, okay. the, the current so who's cult Dahlia? leader. Dal Dahlia was uh, one of the, I guess, a cult leader at the time. God, it's been so long since I've played one. Yeah. Um, and so she kind of watched over what happened to Alyssa because they were basically going to use Alyssa, the same thing that they wanted to use Heather for. There's a key. I oh, to summon, to summon the evil baby. Yes. Right. Yeah. Um. And pretty much everything. There was also a subplot in Silent Hill One about possible drugs and like this. Yeah, about about a drug a, a drug yeah. ring. Um. It, but basically, basically, shit's bad in the town because they've tried to summon a thing using Alessa and fucked up, and everything's awful forever yeah. now. Um. So as a result, you go through and you uh, stop the cults and you kill the thing that they summon and um, basically you put everything back to less fucked territory. And at the end, if you've played everything right, uh, Harry is given a baby to leave. Right. And that's the baby that he names Heather. Right. Um, so in Silent Hill 2, you play as James Sunderland who is a guy that at some point came to Silent Hill with his wife um, and then receives a strange postcard telling him to go back to Silent yeah, Hill. from his wife, who is uh, uh, dead at the time. Yeah. So you can uh, understand why uh, he would be somewhat confused about the letter. Right. And concerned, yes. Uh, so he goes and... He has plenty of adventures <laughs> uh, where everything is terrible and awful. Because Silent Hill is, is was a vacation town, and Silent Hill was like the mm -hmm. last good memories he had with his wife before she died. So 
Right. So there's also this also there's uh, also this continuing theme in the early games where everybody who ends up in Silent Hill has been there before. Yes. Uh yeah. Um yeah, Silent Hill has the power to draw you back yes. to places basically. So is that an inspiration at all for the uh for the um Also, I just want to point uh, out the Chris Straub thing. It has nothing to do with anything, but I think it's really yes. cool. Look at that door. Yeah, it's it's pretty sweet. Can't see the door. I like He's watching dark. that door. Hello, big old seal of Metatron. It's super big. <laughs> I love mm-hmm. that it looks like like you could just approach it from back, but then when you get up close to it, it's just your so little... So it's a forced perspective thing. I love it. Yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. Um, yeah, no, absolutely. Chris Straub, like, Icker Falls was very much a... Like, a, like Acre Falls is like a mashup of Chris Straub's Nightmares, Silent Hill 2, and uh, Stephen King. Um, but, uh, so yeah, um, basically you go through Silent Hill 2, and uh, you discover all these different people that are having their own horrific experiences, and it quickly becomes apparent that what you're experiencing is the project- Silent Hill's projections of your or of, of James's uh, inner fears and guilt. Right, that's and why it has the sexy nurses, because that's, like, a manifestation of his, like, repressed sexuality or whatever. Right, and uh, Pyramid Head um, is a hyper-violent, hyper-masculine, hyper-sexualized, uh, uh, you know, creature that rapes all the nurses and stuff. Um, I mean, do you want a spoiler for Silent Hill 2? Yeah. I mean, at this point, we might as well. I mean, Matt. Yeah, like, I might play it at some point, but whatever. Oh, well, okay. Uh, well, James, James killed his wife. That's, that's okay. it. Yeah, I think I did that's know what that, I was Okay. It's an old yeah, game like, at like this the, point. Yeah, that's like one of the most spoilered parts of games. James is the real monster. What it, and it's also it's also the thing is that... But ever since then, everyone was so impressed with that that every Silent Hill game had to be about somebody who had killed somebody and, and repressed yes, the memory. Except three. And was being punished. Except, except three, three and four, I think. Yeah, except four as well. Yeah, well, three, okay, so what you're is... saying, because if we're not talking about, if we're talking about two being the original one that did it, and then three and four not doing it, then what you mean is all the shitty ones are about people <laughs> that were trying to recreate Silent Hill 2, did not understand what made yes. Silent Hill 2 good, and failed. Yes. L- literally, literally, Ooh, outside. yes. We are outside. Hey, we are outside. But we can't um, really leave. So, you can never yeah. leave. Um... <laughs> So, Silent, Silent Hill 2 ends a couple of different ways. The sort of canonical one being that James kills himself. Um, and uh, essentially, it's like I, there's not much connected to the cult as far as I know. Like, well, the, the, it's, the undertones of the cult are there. Really, it's just like. It doesn't. It's It's just like. Yeah, it's 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 a character story in that it is James's personal dealings with uh, this this psychic supernatural horrific yeah, entity and it, it, that is. They Silent tell Hill. you that like the reason why a lot of stuff. Well, they hint to the reason why a lot of stuff has happened in Silent Hill. Well, one of them being like it's cursed because it was built on sacred grounds and the cult um, took advantage of that because like it had such a, a presence about it mm. yeah 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 um, so it's it's definitely there and there are, there are shaded elements of it but Silent Hill 3 is expressly about the cult and it's expressly about the following up the story of Alessa and Harry and uh, Cher- or yeah. Heather um, so, uh, what happens in three is you play as Heather Mason, um, who receives, uh, some interesting information. Also, these guys are sweet. Yeah, this is crazy. I hate him. Um. Yeah, I hate that slug. That she needs to return to Silent Hill, um, because, and, uh, basically... The Dahlia, the cult lady, has hired a 
uh, detective to find mm -hmm. her, I think. Um, so she freaks out, has like this weird Silent Hill experience in a mall, and then goes home and finds that her father has been yeah. murdered. Hmm. So she um, she goes through uh, to return to Silent Hill and discovers all this stuff about the cult, what the cult is doing, and um, the things that they want to achieve. And it's they keep they're keeping hints that they need her for something, and, and nothing is ever really given about why they need her. Gross, gross, gross. Um, so you know you spend you spend most of the game trying to figure out what the fuck is going on and progressing your way through uh to get to the heart of the cult mm -hmm. basically um and then you get there and you find that uh first of all you find that uh it turns out that uh what, what is it that alessa is that you yes, are alessa you are alessa cheryl heather yes <laughs> Yeah, you are the baby the that was person. given to Harry at the end of, of uh, the first game. Right. And that baby is also still Alessa slash. It's just it's a it's a vessel that exists to create another vessel. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Li yeah, exactly that. Um, and so you you fight the dark version of yourself um, on a carnival ride, which is that awesome. sounds pretty sweet. Not going to lie. Uh, yeah, it's, no, a it's, diary. It's, it's pretty baller. Hey, diaries. Uh, there's people all the time. Can't tell because I see a shadow move or hear his footsteps. So basically, there's a, there's a guy watching in there. Yeah. Because it's also a man who's standing in the shadows. Hey, sweet. <laughs> um, Called your name, you turn and say yeah. hello. John the Colton, everybody. Oh yeah, piss jars. Uh, I don't actually. Gotta don't love actually know what's in them. Uh, apparently, powder. gunpowder. Um, but so you get uh, as as Heather slash Alessa slash Cheryl, you get to the heart of the cult, um, and you uh, are told by Dahlia that you are going to be the thing that summons their god, and everything is awful forever. Um, and then. Uh, they Dahlia summons or becomes the monster. I forget which which it is. Um, and you have to try and figure out how to beat her. Which Manda, since you've told this to me and made it sound awesome before, I want you to explain oh, you this mean part Claudia. of how. Is that the part? Claudia, Claudia. Dahlia. Not Dahlia. Is this That's different than the personal. part where you have the item that you're supposed to hang on to for the whole game and you'll this lose if you part. don't use it. It's it's yeah. that part. The yeah, whole yeah. game, Heather's wearing a necklace given to her by her father, and uh, Claudia. <sighs> okay, so basically, the necklace inside is a little pill, and you take it, and it's yeah. a, it's pretty much an instant abortion because you've had this god cooking in your oven for the whole game. Yeah, and, I remember Nate was telling me about that. Yeah, and you take the pill, she throws up the baby, and Claudia's like, holy shit, how could you do that? That is our god. Eats the fetus, <laughs> the, becomes right, the god, right, right. And, you, and you murder her. And that's Silent Hill 3! Yeah. It's fucking insane. Silent Hill 3. Um, but, uh, but, 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 and so now here we are in Silent Hill 4. <laughs> right. So this, so this is Silent Hill 4. So Silent Hill 3 essentially ends with the cult being destroyed entirely. Um, because their leader, Claudia, has just been punked. And you, yeah, and you uh, destroyed, you, you stopped the, yeah, the cycle. Heather, yeah, Heather has, um, you know, gone, gone through and, and taken out most of the cult and uh, stop them and you know all their plans are, are completely destroyed and all that um, and uh, so Silent Hill 4 presumably okay. is uh, something about the remnants so, of it um, um, don't I think Silent interrupt. Hill is Silent Hill is just a it's, but, it's... Um, there it is there it is okay okay just whew, steal yourself what? can't what? do it can't do it not gonna can't do it oh What's god going on? 
Yeah, yeah you, you can. can. Do, do it. it. Okay. Do it. Do it. I yeah, want to see it. I'm sure do you it. do. I'm sure you want to see it. I see uh -huh. I don't know what okay. you're, like, freaking out about. It's the thing around Oh, the hey. That's the baby hands. Oh, wow. Baby head, two hands. Oh, wow. It's pointing at us. Oh, wow. Oh, Jesus, no! Oh, Jesus, wow. no! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Holy oh, shit. Oh, and he's wearing a trench coat. <sighs> hate it. Holy shit. Hate it, hate you. That's weird. Wow, that's crazy. That's so crazy. And they're super tough. Yeah, I'm sure they are. <sighs> <laughs> so that was my little mini heart attack. I just realized they have six fingers. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I guess I never counted. So I'm safe. Everything's good. Everything's fine. Oh! <laughs> Definitely not another one of those. <laughs> I hate, it. I hate it so much. And he's too focused on these goddamn slugs. <laughs> to even bother. I like that it's just sitting there pointing yeah. at you. That's so fucking horrific. Yeah, oh, I like that's that. So that's good. a great idle it. animation. That's so good. I think, uh... Oh. I think if I get close enough in certain situations to, uh, close enough so they won't charge, but so far enough away that they see me, that they'll actually whisper to me. Uh, they only have five fingers. Oh, yeah, no, they've got, yeah, they've got five fingers. It was, yeah. a, it was a weird... I don't know. <sighs> so, <laughs> all right. That's one of the reasons why I hate this level so much, but also love it because is that monster? well, yeah, that monster, and also how it's set up to where it's a circle. I cannot see what's mm -hmm. coming around the bend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, clothes. Yeah, that's that's super good. Ah, oh, this game. This is a good game. I like this game. Um. So. The, the super bothersome thing about the story of Silent Hill. Sweet. After... Yeah, can't can't read a single one of these books and it pisses me off because I'm like, I want to know. <laughs> I want to know what love is. Still being watched. Also, what is the pit in front of the peephole there? Hmm? It's a shithole. No, oh, because there's a shithole right next to the bed. Oh, uh, we're getting a weird sort of camera angle right now where you can see, like, the lighting and grating and stuff in the ceiling. Yeah. Hmm. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. so what I was saying before we lost the recording is that the concerning thing, or I guess odd thing, about the new games after, um, Sound Hill 4 and Shattered Memories, so specifically Sound Hill 5, which is Homecoming. <laughs> homecoming. There's a hole here. And onward. Later. Homecoming expressly deals with the fact that the cult is still around. Well, isn't Homecoming like a prequel? No. No, no Homecoming is, no. is very... It's own thing. Yeah, it's very it's much... written on the paper. And now it look like I'm sleeping. But it also sort of deals with the adjacent town to Silent Hill, which is called Shepherd's Glen, and how Shepherd's Glen has its own cults. But also, shoot. but also, it's still the Silent Hill cult. I, I don't know. It just... Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, was there one right. of those things in there? Yes. Oh, that's that so good. Oh, is that oh. the... Wait, is that... Is that... Oh, that's so Which good. one of these things? Oh, it's the, it's the wall monster. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's so good. That's awesome. Oh, there's a bunch of them. There's two. There's two. Is that the bullets? Oh, it's so rad, I love it. Yeah, he's, he's loving me. Mm-hmm. He's getting some good loving on you. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, love. Someone's just loving to watch this happen is what's mm -hmm. happening. Mm-hmm, Just getting off on you beating up these monsters. Yeah, whoever's in there. Hmm. So I love I love all the, the voyeurism themes in this game. Oh, you picked up on it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I want to hide, but I can't hide. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I don't know how obvious it is yet about what this prison was used for. Have you figured uh, it out yet? 
somebody's masturbatory experiences, basically? Uh, no. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, something about kids. That's all I know. This prison had children. Ah, good. Good. This, this prison was specifically for children. Good. I love it. All right, so that's yeah, something that we're picking up from all of the from all the journals. Yeah, they're all written from the perspectives of children in these cells. Wow! Fuck this the diary. Guy. Fuck the guy that did this. Fuck you, Walter. Well, uh. <laughs> I don't think it was Walter. Death. Chamber. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. <sighs> oh yeah, let's eat some meat. Let's eat some people stew. <sighs> Hate it. Hate this prison. Hate everything about this prison. <laughs> Have I checked all the rooms yet? Nope, yeah. not yet. So, um, yeah, no, we can all agree that Silent Hill Homecoming, huge misstep. Oh, yeah. And Super I, I, fucking awful. <laughs> I will say, I really like 4. Like, I'll, I'll talk about how shitty the gameplay is, and back then it, it was no prize either. Uh, this is actually considered, like I said, one of the worst in the series for a while, mm. but. Until they fucked up harder. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no. Did I, everyone check their privilege? I'm pretty. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with this so far. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh, it's like a cistern. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Door won't open. Oh, good. Someone was in there to lock it. There's a thing on the top that, like, collects rainwater. Well, this is called the water prison for a reason. Yeah, we get, we get to flood it. Yeah, turn and, that handle. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> Remember how I said it was really dumb? And I spent the second part of the next video, like, doing a, doing a thing I wasn't supposed to do. Oh, it's because you fucking don't turn it? Yeah. Well, because I didn't know if that was going to fuck something up for me. So I wait. <laughs> Good. Good job. You're the best at this game. I know, I know. But basically, because <laughs> I'm a big scaredy cat right now. She's fucking gonna go leave. I know. Well, I'm gonna go back. But you to can the take the ladders to get up and down quicker now. Yeah. That's something I'm really glad that they put in the game. Yeah. No, I'm guessing in playtesting, it's like you know. This is really atmospheric the first time, but after that, it's like, this just takes a really long time to do. Look at that. Look at that water slash clouds. Mm. It's water. We're on the lake. We're on the rock. See, I know basically I need some time to, to cool my shit. So I'm just going to go back to the apartment. Mm -hmm. Save a little bit. Are you going to enter the hole? Things are gonna be okay for me. Oh yeah. Oh hey, it's a different, uh, it's a different thing at the end now. I like that it has the texture from the prison. Yeah. Everything's absolutely going to be okay. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm in the warm, loving, healing embrace of my apartment. When you wake up, everything's gonna be fine. You can't guarantee that it. you'll wake in a better place. God damn it. Time. Dry your bath, load your gun, helps the badger bathe and hunt, etc., etc. Yeah. So you think you're tired of living? <laughs> you feel like you might give in. Whoa! That's not good. Cool. Um. Yeah, no, you keep you keep referring to this place as having a warm, loving embrace. I wonder if that yeah. is a there is a reason for that. I don't know. It heals me, so I'm pretty down with it. Mm-hmm. I'm 
eyeing you, Amanda. Uh, I'm sure you are. Oh, hey. hey did you do poop neighbors. around in one of the places? I like that everybody's standing conspicuously in front of their windows. Yeah. <laughs> they're all doing their own thing. Just to remind you that they're there. So, hey. Hey, new note. Cool. What's up? Someone's giving us notes. What do you we know, got? What do we you got? Know, you know, love letter. No, I understand that. I want the note. No, not the shoes. <laughs> I want the note. What do we got? Could it be? I am a serious danger. I've been through a lot of my life. I've never felt this kind of pure animal fear. Don't worry. I give you plenty of time to read. So <laughs> I hang on the text for a while. That's fine. <sighs> so I write down what I've learned for whoever you are that's living in the apartment now. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Ten people in ten days. Hmm. So, clearly there have been, this is the third cycle of it. In order of their deaths carved into them. Yep. Yep. So the curious, the curious part is what the one, two, one means. Yeah. That is Walter Sullivan. Walter Sullivan. April 4th. We've heard that name a lot. Yes, we have. Specific- Walter Sullivan's uh, Specifically, we've heard that name in our own apartment. Yep. Don't go out, Walter. Hmm. Thanks, Walter. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> what? She's dancing. She's having bee troubles. She's, is she seriously being attacked by a bee? Yeah. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> So, 17 handprints, Walter Sullivan. Hmm. And I'm gonna save. Highlander quickening. Also, I'm gonna check in on Eileen's room. Still the same. She's still fighting with that Come on, Eileen! (laughs) We're gonna make that joke every episode, aren't we? Pretty, yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Literally every time. So, uh, see you next time, Internet. Good night, Internet. more fun in gay baby jail. Gay baby jail! Uh. <laughs>